What's happening, my Android friends? Welcome to the Mandroid Daily. I am David, of course, your Mandroid host. If you're new to the Mandroid Daily, I basically just give you some daily Android news, the Android news you crave and everything like that. And hopefully, I know you guys have been, uh, some of you guys have been asking, I'm uh, hopefully going to have a regular Mandroid show for you on Friday. Bring back my goofy head, and you can see my face, and just back to all that maybe hot nerdy girl of the week remember when i did that some of you will remember some of you don't even know what the hell i'm talking about anyways guys i appreciate you guys clicking in so uh let's get started all right new leaked renders of the htc1 m9 have surfaced looking absolutely beautiful that's right um, they got two of them right here, pairing with uh, two code names, and we have uh, two devices, of course, a 5-inch one and a 5.5-inch one. Whoa! Uh, the larger with the bigger battery, and most likely one that will be offered in the largest storage capacity. We aren't, we aren't here to talk about any new leak specs, though. Instead, it's all about the image that you see that was given to us, of course, by ev light leaks or e ev leaks whatever you want to call them uh previous leaked images uh, showed off the device uh, resembled the htc1 m8 big time um so well, you know there's gonna be a subtle design it, 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 it looks pretty good you know i mean the bigger one has that big uh soft that big key right there you know kind of kind of reminds me of the galaxy s line a little bit with having that the big button right there but let, uh, let me know what you think about this let me know down below and potential leaks for the follow-up to the Moto E have apparently surfaced. There it is. Doesn't really show us much. I mean, the Moto E was a success. Of course, Motorola with their budget-friendly phones is pretty awesome. But So we got an image right here. Uh, looks like it's running some lollipop for sure. And uh, that's pretty much all we get. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you also think about these images as well. And it looks like 24 more live channels have been added to Verizon Files mobile app. Yeah, that's right, the Viacom Networks. I mean, we got BET Gospel, BET HD Centric, CMT, CMT Pure Country, Comedy Central HD, Logo, MTV, all the MTVs are all there. The Knicks, Nickelodeon, Nicktoons, Spike TV. Wow, there is a crap ton of channels that have been added to this Fios mobile app. So if you got some Fios, and uh, you want to stream some crap on your devices, well, you better get that freaking uh, app on your phone. And then finally, to round up the Mandroid Daily, Samsung Gear VR, you know, that virtual reality headset that, well, it just seems like virtual reality is going to be the next big step when it comes to, like, mobile technology. And you can actually pick yours up, if you want, for 200 bucks at your local Best Buy as an in-store pickup. That's right. Apparently, they're going to start carrying them, and you can go in and pick pick yourself up one instead of just trying to order it from Samsung waiting for it to be delivered you just go to your local Best Buy and uh, it's the same price 200 bucks but make sure of course that you have a Galaxy Note 4 because that is the only device that can work with the Samsung Gear VR so let me know let us know if you plan on picking one of those up and that's all the news I had for you on this Mandroid daily all articles of course are down below so go ahead and click them if you want to read them also hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind subscribe to the Android spin channel if you have not already and please visit androidspin.com for your latest in Android news all right guys I am David your Mandroid host and this has been the Mandroid daily talk to you later